Hey everyone, it is Susie, and I hope everybody is doing well. Uh, I want to do another spread for March in the 2021 Bullet Journal. And um, I am going to have Rhonda Winstead's link to her uh, March uh, spread in the description box. Um, if you remember, I did tell you in the last one that Rhonda and I are kind of collabing, just sharing each other's uh, video each month for uh, our bullet journals. So uh, I will have that link in the description box, and we're going to get right in and start with March's spread. So I was going to kind of take you through and show you... Um, I've kind of circled some dates on my January. Now, I probably won't show you every every time, but I just thought I'd just run you through it um, a little bit about kind of what I have done. Um, I have filled out some of my um, um, January here. Uh, this was my January spread. I did make my word of the day was be kind, and it was kind of the word of the month. And then here I've circled a couple important days I wanted to remember already um, in February. And so um, here's kind of just some things that I had um, wrote in and got uh, kind of filled out in. And my uh, word of the month is walk by faith and not by sight, which is actually a Bible scripture. Um, that's one of my favorites. Uh, just to walk by faith and not by sight. So, um, anyway, so I'm getting ready to get in here and we're going to do March spread. Now, I'm going to do March is a little different because what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually use some um, of a magazine. It's a magazine um, prints is what I'm going to do. So... This here was a really nice uh, magazine. It is not glossy. It doesn't have the glossy pages. So um, my uh, first intention was actually to just put them in there without um, doing any copy dye or anything. And then I changed my mind and went ahead and copy dyed. So this is just kind of, that, that's just kind of what I do. I always change my mind, always always changing my mind about things so uh, let's get started I have several things put off to the side here I was kind of going through a little bit there's my uh, my extra little thing I haven't used it so I just set it back there so in March I am not going to put a cover photo like I did before. Like January, that was the cover photo. February's was the cover photo. I'm not going to do that in March, and uh, I may do it then in April, but in March, I'm simply going to just do uh, maybe a simple little collage. Here's what I thought. Now, this was just part of the page. It even has the torn edge on it. I left it, and I thought I would do kind of maybe a little just a little collage here or you know not a collage it's just an overlay and uh, something like that keeping it simple still keeping some of the um, the book page there so that was kind of my idea to go there and then I thought and I still got to do my stitching on my pages I haven't done that yet but that was kind of my um, goal these are just some some pieces that I have pulled out of the magazine and cut cut out like I really liked this right here I love the, this page I liked the metal number six kind of the stencil number there and so I actually just cut it down to size and I thought I would really like that right there um thinking also that I would add maybe my uh word of the day which is word of the month Maybe something like that. Now, uh, I told you in the previous video that I did pick these up at Target. And they're on a little pad. And I have just cut them apart is what I've done. Here is another piece of it. And all three of these come on uh, one 
uh, sheet and I have just cut them down, um, cut them apart off the pad. And so they are just a target find. And I think maybe what I want to do is put my goals up there and my word of the day down here. So that way I can still see my stenciled six. So that's kind of going to be the page layout, I think, for those two. So what I'm going to do is I, I know I'm going to stitch around um, these, these pages. And I'm also going to ink them up really good uh, with my Distress Ink. So I'm going to do that and then we'll come back and we'll get them stuck down. Okay, so I've got this stitched around, and so I'm going to go ahead and just start sticking sticking them down. I have got to get me a glue stick. It would be so much easier if I just had a, a glue stick, but I have not um, picked up one yet. Um, it seems like I never remember when I go to the store. Okay, so let's put that right there. Okay. And then let's add our, I went ahead and stitched around uh, my march, my little march. Uh, you know, um, I did save some, uh, like, masking tape. I tore off some pieces because I thought I just might want to use a little masking tape. Just for a little more up there. Yeah. And since I have used um, my masking tape in other... Uh, spots on the book. Yep, I think that's what I'll do. I just put a little um, distress on it so it wasn't quite so white or uh, clean, clean looking. So, okay, so I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna worry about too much if that got on there straight or not. It'll be just fine. All right. So then I want to go ahead and get, now I did put some heavy coffee on here. As a matter of fact, you can see the heavy coffee right there. It just, it kind of blended in with the, with the page. Um, I love that metal stencil there. All right. So let's get this set right here. All right, I really, really like this magazine. Oh, am I coming over the? Okay, I'm coming over the page a little bit. I want to maybe square that up a little bit more there, center it up more on the page. Okay, there we are. Okay, so I'm going to add my word of the day down there, and I wanted to add my looking ahead right there. So we're going to do that. So we'll do our looking ahead. And then I want to do my word of the day, or which would actually be the word of the month. Okay, we're going to add it just right, right here. And I want to keep that nice and open there where I can see that grunge. Okay, so there is going to be my um, uh, two pages there. All right, so then my goals for the month, and I thought what I would do is I have some off cuts here that, um, that I had from the pages, just off cuts, and so I saved just a couple of them here. This one I thought I would want maybe right here and I thought I would put my um, like my task list here. Just have a little bit of um, I don't know that may not be what I want either but anyway I think I think that's what I'm gonna do. Um, just add Maybe just as a, even a, making it a little wider even. Maybe that's what I want to do. So I think that's what I'm going to do. But I think I'm going to stick it down. And then I'm going to 
stitch somehow on it with a little decorative stitching, I think. So I could go ahead and get it where I need it. So I want it to be the width of uh, how I want my page there. So I think I'll go ahead and get that stuck down a little bit right there. Okay. Oh, it's not enough. I went too far. I'm going to have to go. It'll only allow me to go so far. Okay, well that'll work. So there will be that. And then this page here, I cut out a clock out of the page, out of one of the pages. And I'm going to actually put that right there and my goals for the day here. And then I may take a piece of tape and add a little piece of tape across there um, just for a little filler up here in the in the top. Um, I want to wait until I've stitched my pages there, but I think that's what I may do. So I'm going to stitch around this, and I still have yet to do uh, my... Uh, Oh, my, uh, um, let's see here. Oh, I did the dates on that one, but I want to use that one for my task. Um, I may get my, uh, um, time card and, uh, do that this time back here. Do the time card. So, I'm going to go ahead and get this ready. I've got to dig out my time card because I didn't grab it. Um, and uh, get these two sewed up and get them ready and then I will be um, having to do my um, dates here on my time card. Okay, so I'm going to do that really quick. Okay, so I got everything um, sewed up that I wanted to, but I wanted to show you this. I decided last minute to actually take my X-Acto knife here, uh, this little, little one. Uh, I have really learned to love this little uh, knife here. Uh, it just is so much easier. It's just one that you could put on your finger. But I have actually loved this little knife. Um, I've had it, I don't know, maybe six months or so, but I absolutely love it. Uh, but what I decided to do was cut that out and then slip my goals uh, behind it. And so I just took my X-Acto there and just cut it around where I could actually slip that in there. So let's go ahead and get these um, stuck on the page here. Okay, so let's get this stuck on. I'm just going to kind of center it up in the on the page there. Alright. And I like the way that looks. It just gives it a little... I love the grungy. Grungy is just um, something I really, really love anymore. I've, I like to change up a, uh, occasionally, but for the most part I, I'm really enjoying the grunge. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and what I'm doing is just going to go ahead and glue that down a little bit before I stick it all down. So I decided against the um, the masking tape I had thought I was going to, you know, kind of put on there after I cut that little piece out. So I think that's going to be just fine. Love the clock out of the magazine. Um, just was a good choice for March. And also I decided against the time cards for my dates. I found something else I thought would be fun. So, so we're just going to put that right there. Okay, and then I have my little goals that I can put on for the month. Alright. 
Okay, so there we are there, and I really like the looks of uh, marches. I really, this suits me very well. I love, love, love looking at this kind of stuff. Um, okay, so here we are. And so what I decided for my, you know, my uh, dates here is on this little, um, it's a Frisco. I bought these. They're kind of like a glassine. And um, I just thought that would be fun. I'm going to, of course, cut off the Frisco part of it, and I'm going to go down to to the 31. I may actually put it on the two, the two different pages, because it's going to be too long, I think, for, for just one. So I think that's what I'll do. Um, I have these two here cutouts from the magazine. Oh, this one I may have to cut down a little more. Hmm. Or let's see, I may take this one over here and then cut this one down a little more. It's a little too big. I thought I had it cut the right size. So anyway, I'm going to do that. I'm going to cut um, this down to fit. And so that way I can place this, and I'll probably cut off a little bit of it as well there, so it's not quite so wide. Yeah. So I'm going to stitch around, of course, I'm going to stitch around these two pages as well. Just like I did these. Whoops, I better. That's definitely not glued good enough if it's coming up. Yeah, I really like that. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get this cut down where it fits a little better. I'll get this stitched around and then we'll figure out what we're going to do with this. Okay, so I've got these stitched around, got this one cut down. I'm uh, going to go ahead and get them glued on. This here is a pretty little uh, vintage mirror. This was a dresser with the thing sitting on it. Um, it looks like some spools of thread in there. Not sure what's supposed to be in that. It almost looks like eggs. But anyway, I uh, love that kind of stuff. Love, love, love the vintage. That's why I picked these particular um, pieces from the, uh, or uh, pages from the uh, magazine to cut down. And this is just going to get placed right on here. I'm going to kind of straddle that a little more towards the edge just because of the, uh, the bend there in the book. So, okay, and then I'm going to get this one stuck right here. Alright, just going to kind of... There we go. Get that stuck in there. I love these pages. Oh, I especially love this. Love the writing, the vintage buttons. Okay. So then what I have done is I just went ahead and cut these down. Um, I believe that's enough space for me to write something on. So I'm starting with, of course, day one. Now in my previous ones, uh, like when I did the time card, all I did was the three... Uh, days the Friday Saturday and Sunday of each week but since I use these I just decided to go ahead and just cut them in the day so uh, really the only days I will be using still yet is just the three days of the weekend so okay so what I thought is I want this one probably placed right here where I can kind of see the vintage buttons and the and the writing and this one here I will probably try to set about right here so that I still get part of the vase that you can see there. I think that's what I want to do there. So we're going to set this one where I can still see my vintage buttons and still, oops, I need to come over, and still have my fancy little writing there. I love, the love, love the penmanship there. Okay, and then let's get this one. It's going to kind of just stick it right there, I think. Yep. 
And then I'll still have the pretty um, molding from the dresser mirror there showing. Alright, so I'm going to try to keep that molding showing. Alright, and I'm going to leave it at this, I do believe. Alright, so I did cut out this little word because I wasn't sure. It just says color. And I thought, you know, I don't want to add that somewhere. It was just in some writing on one of the pages. And I wasn't sure if I just kind of wanted to add it somewhere as a word. You know. I just hated to throw it away. <laughs> I know, it's hard to believe. Uh, but it could be color. I may just put that right there just for a little something. Or I might leave that for even some writing. Maybe I want it over here on the mirror part. And that's so nice that I could write on that if I needed to. Yeah, let's just let's just add it. Let's just just for fun. Yeah. There we go. All right. So that's just something just like I said, just added for a little fun. All right, guys. So this is going to be March's spread. I love the vintage. Love all that vintageness going on there. Just love, 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 love how it looks. So, anyway, there is March's spread. And uh, be sure and go over. I will have the link to Rhonda. Rhonda without an H. Rhonda Winstead. I will have her link to her, her uh, spread uh, for March in the description box. Be sure and go over and check hers out. Um, and anyway, guys, until we get ready for April spread, I will catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching.